Lithium Power has released a positive preliminary economic assessment study for their Maricunga Lithium Brine project in Chile. This has resulted in an updated valuation for Lithium Power of $1.13 per share. Overall, we believe this was an excellent result as the study highlights the Maricunga project is not only on track to become the next producing lithium asset in Chile, but is also arguably their standout development lithium brine project globally. The majority of the assumptions in the PEA were largely in line with our previous guidance. However, there was a notable increase in capital costs compared to our previous estimate. However, by far, the standout result from this study was the confirmation of the low forecasted operating costs of just under $3,000 per tonne, which reduces further to around $2,600 per tonne when the byproduct credits from Potash are also included. To put this cost into perspective, Maricunga will well and truly be in the lowest cost quarter for lithium projects globally and it is this low cost that we believe will drive the exceptional margins when production commences in the future. The largest variable in any valuation is the applied commodity price assumption. The lithium price continues to gain momentum as demand continues to increase due to electric vehicles and energy storage batteries, with governments also notably now playing a major part of this as they set ambitious future emission targets. But as with all commodities, the lithium price will likely continue to fluctuate in the future. We therefore examined a range of different price scenarios as highlighted in the graph. One area that we believe could further improve the project's economics in the future is the potential to increase both the production profile and mine life, given the current resource and significant exploration potential. We however have no doubt the company chose this size production profile to minimise capital costs for the time being, as well as allow for a sufficient time to ramp up to full-scale production. However, it is probable that once production targets are met, an expansion which would be funded by free cash flow would be considered. In addition to the study, Chile has also announced that conservative billionaire Sebastian Panera has been elected as president. Panera is pro-business, pro-foreign investment, and has promised a slash red tape for project developments. Therefore, given the new government, an excellent PEA and a strong balance sheet, Lithium Power is in an excellent position to continue to drive the Maricunga project forward through 2018, which we believe will be a pivotal year for the company with strong news flow expected throughout.